Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you follow me, you know that I spent the holiday season in New York City. So please subscribe to my channel if you would like to see all the amazing contents that I recorded there. Today, I am going to take you to the very exclusive and luxurious Cartier Mansion on 5th Avenue to check out the holiday decorations this year. I'm also going to take you back in time towards the end of the video to show you a one-of-the-kind high jewelry exhibition in this landmark building that took place a couple years ago. Judging from the display windows, you can tell that this boutique features a lot of the high jewelry collections that's only available for display in the New York and Paris flagships. So I'm going to focus today's tour on those more rare pieces. Before checking out all the beautiful jewelry in this legendary flagship store, let's first talk about the interesting history behind this house. The Cartier Mansion was built over a hundred years ago and it is full of intriguing stories. The house was originally owned by a businessman named Morton Plant. His wife fell in love with a pearl necklace made by Cartier which had a price tag of $1 million, which reflects the lengthy process of assembling the 128 graduated perfectly matched natural pearls. The hefty price tag of the, the necklace was also due to the fact that pearls were considered rare at the time. To please his beautiful wife, Morton Plant accepted the deal to swap his residence, which is now known as the Cartier Mansion, for the necklace, which were roughly around the same price at the time. If you walk up the staircase from the ground floor and enter the living room on the second floor, you will see a painting of Plant's wife wearing this exact pearl necklace. You may be wondering where is this necklace now? According to the luxury auction house Christie's website, this necklace was sold in 2012 for $3.6 million. The price of the sale reflects the significance of this necklace in history, even though pearls are not considered rare anymore. After the most recent renovation in 2016, Cartier released a three-strand commemorative pearl necklace to celebrate the history of this mansion. The Panther collection is probably the most recognizable high jewelry collection that Cartier created. Therefore, it is not surprising that there are traces of the famous design everywhere in the decor. Check out this panther painting. Isn't it gorgeous? The panther design first appeared in a wristwatch in 1914, but the first three-dimensional Cartier panther, which is the design that we're familiar with today, was created in 1948 for the Duchess of Windsor. With that, let's check out the items from this collection that are available for display right now. Often confused with the Panther design, this is the Indomptables de Cartier collection, which features unusual encounters of different animals. 
The designs bring a playful touch, which differentiates it from other high jewelry collections. Given that this is a flagship boutique, there are a lot of highly valued rare pieces on display on the top floor, which you don't really get to see elsewhere. So, without any further ado, let's head upstairs to check them out. King Edward VII referred to Cartier as the jeweler of kings and the king of jewelers. From Spain to Russia, India to the United Kingdom, the world's royalty made Cartier the top supplier of aristocratic jewelry. Other than royalty, Cartier also serves clientele ranging from celebrities to business tycoons. Some of their famous clients include Elizabeth Taylor and Grace Kelly. That being said, it is not surprising why Cartier creates a wide range of high jewelry pieces every year for their VIP clients. Cartier's high jewelry pieces stand out with their beauty, radiance, and unique character. Cartier has a very high standard in sourcing colored gems. Their jewelers and gem cutters travel around the world in search of exceptional stones that meet the most demanding quality criteria. In Cartier's own words, a matter of standards, a pledge to beauty. The legendary stones they select set the standards of beauty and rarity for all future creations. Moving on to Cartier's most recognizable and Instagrammable love collection, which was created in the 70s in New York. Its binding closure and screw motif symbolize locking in your love forever. Last but not least, don't forget that Cartier also makes leather goods and other accessories. With that, let's travel back in time to a one-of-a-kind exhibition that Cartier hosted in this mansion a few years ago. This was the largest ever collection of Cartier's high jewelry collection uh, that's showcasing an open exhibition to the public. The exhibition helped to draw crowds into the Cartier Mansion after its most recent renovation in 2016, and it gathered the world's finest gems, precious stones, secret watches, and exceptional objects. I wanted to share this experience with you guys even though it took place a few years ago because opportunities like this does not happen very often, even in New York.
In addition to those historical vintage pieces sold to celebrities and royalties, Cartier also showcased the new high jewelry collection that they launched in the summer of 2017. The focal point of this collection is colored gemstones from sapphire to emerald to rubies. Those beautiful colors brought life and character to all of the masterpieces. Cartier also brought technicians from Paris to demonstrate their skills and answer people's questions, which made the whole experience very interactive. You get to see the original sketches that inspired the beautiful creations, the tools that were used to polish the metals, and those precious stones in their original form. It was both an enjoyable and educational experience. I hope that you enjoyed today's tour at the Cartier Mansion. Again, if you enjoy my contents, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I also did a few other vlogs on 5th Avenue which I will link down below including the legendary Saks 5th Avenue, Bergdorf Goodman, and Tiffany's. Thanks again for watching and see you guys next time!